The election's delay is both a blessing and a curse for candidates running for office. 41 NBC's Amanda Castro continues our team coverage on the DOJ's ruling. She tells us they'll be working hard to win your vote no matter when the Justice Department decides you can cast your ballot. Some candidates say it's not fair to push back Election Day, while others say nonpartisan elections isn't what the people want. Either way, the countdown to consolidation is ticking, and we have a January 1st deadline to meet. Don't expect to see these campaign signs taken down anytime soon. Candidates running for the Macon Bibb County Consolidated Government are learning a lesson on flexibility. The plan will be the same. We'll just implement it uh, uh, at a different date. Mayoral candidate C. Jack Ellis says we don't need nonpartisan elections and believes the Georgia General Assembly went against voters' wishes. The people voted for a partisan election and they saw fit the very first day the very first day of the legislative session to change it. That means that we were, we were hoodwinked and bamboozled, and we don't take too kindly to that. But District 4 Commission candidate Theron Ussery says we should drop the partisan politics and calls the Justice Department's delay unfair. It's just going to uh, slow everything down and, uh, you know, all the work you've done so far, you got to start all over again whenever they make up their minds. And it's a big disappointment. Mayoral candidate Charles Bishop agrees. He says voters shouldn't cast their ballots based on D's and R's and believes this holdup will cost candidates. It just makes it a lot more expensive to run a campaign and it sort of cripples you. Putting off uh, the election basically gave an advantage to the office holders because it cost the people that are seeking office a lot more to get media time. Macon Mayor Robert Rickert says he's waiting until the time is right to ramp up his campaign, but his main goal is to make sure we have a mayor and nine member commission seated by January 1st. The new government will be effective. The Justice Department pre-cleared the consolidation. So that part's effective and is going to be. So now we've got to get the elections done so that we have people ready to hold those offices and lead us into a new government. Mayor Rickert says it could take weeks to get all the paperwork the DOJ is requesting, which would push back elections to later this fall. We'll be sure to keep you updated with the latest on this developing story.